Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Twitchy TV guys. Welcome back to your channel. Today we got our fourth drop of the mystery packs. So uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a gameplay on 91 overall. Point guard slash shooting guard Amethyst Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, for when he was on the Mavericks. Um, if you guys didn't know, which I don't think you guys probably would because I've never mentioned it. I don't think, but the Dallas Mavericks are my second favorite MV, uh, NBA team besides the Raptors. Um, so, um, I, I do follow the Dallas Mavericks quite, quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to try out this card, Dennis Smith Jr. Um, yeah, I, I don't usually ever do gameplays on cards that are from, you know, big sets or really any of the pack market cards, but I figured I'd switch it up today since I did decide to pick them up, check them out. I already did his challenges for him, but we're going to go ahead and do uh, a gameplay on this card today. So he's got 97 offense, which is nice, 95 defense. He's only 6'2", so if you're trying to take him into a competitive setting, he's really not going to be that good. But uh, we're going to be taking him maybe in some triplet offline. We'll see. Um, but anyways, he's got 92 driving layup, which is really good. He has no post no post game at all. Draw foul is a 90, so that is quite considerable. That's a pretty good draw foul. 93 shot close. He's going to be able to attack the rim. 90 mid range, which is not bad. It's definitely hittable. 93 ball, which is just fine. Um, if you want to add a shoe to him, to bring it up to a 93. Um, if you get the Kobe Grinch's three point on him, that would be a 95. If you get, you know, the Phil Jackson coach, that'll bring it up to a 99 three ball. But uh, most people probably wouldn't be using this card like that. But anyways, he's got an 87 free throw, which is not bad. 50 driving dunk and 95 driving dunk, which, you know, Dennis Smith Jr. is a dunker. Um, one of the really short, it's really like a pretty short uh, dunker, but he is really good if you've ever seen his dunks before. Uh, 90 ball handle, which is nice, so he will be able to dribble the ball. Uh, decent passing, I guess. Um, his defense is definitely not great. He, he really won't be blocking anybody. His steal is an 88, which is not bad. He will be able to guard guys on the perimeter, but interior, he's not gonna, really going to be able to do anything. His rebounding is not good. His speeds are great down the line with a 95. His vertical is great, his strength is weak. Overall, his, you know, his athleticism is, you know, what you would expect from a Dennis Smith Jr. card. Um, and his mental game is looking whatever it looks like. So, <laughs> let's get into the defensive tendencies, which I'm not, I'm assuming it's not going to be very good. Um, it's actually better than I thought. Pass interception, 84. On ball steals, an 85. Uh, contest shots, a 90. Block shots, an 80. And low foul tendencies, which is what I'm looking for. Um, sorry, I'm about to sneeze right now. Oof. Oh my god. He has 10 Hall of Fame badges, which is nice for an Amethyst, and he's got 34 gold, which is really good. So he has a total of 44 badges. That's really nice. Um, so the man, Dennis Jr., has Catch and Shoot, Relentless Finisher, Clamps, ooh, Pogo Stick. Wow, okay, this car has actually got some nice badges. Contact Finisher, Fast Break Finisher, Showtime, Downhill, Quick First Step, and Range Extender. So that's what I pretty much expect from a Dennis Smith Jr. card. Sorry guys, uh, but I, I think Pogo Stick is definitely uh, a surprising badge as well as Clamps, but I don't remember Dennis Jr. being a Clamp God like that. But he's got difficult shots, Acrobat, Tear Dropper, Ankle Breaker, Break Starter, Dimer, Pick Pocket, Pick Dodger, Chase on Artist, Heart Crusher, Interceptor. We're not going to go through all of them. Uh, it'll just take too long, but he's got really good badges. It's a, it, yet again, it's what you expect from a Dennis Jr. card. Uh, other than that, let's check out his upgradable badges. Um, let's go through here and uh, what I would say you could add mm, maybe needle threader space creator and slippery off ball and then maybe corner specialist if you plan to shoot from the corner but that's about it um, so let's get into a gameplay of triple threat offline and see what this man can do in some some decent offline action let's do it alrighty guys so we decided to go uh, do a 50 point triple threat offline game or well the spotlight sim game but running with the maverick theme squad so obviously dennis smith jr we got dirk Nowitzki and luka Doncic. this is the best dirk card i got i don't really care to go buy his pink diamond or his galaxy opal so um yeah so i'm looking forward to testing out this dennis smith jr card other than um shooting him shooting around with him in freestyle i have not played with this card in any sort of game so i'm excited to see what he can bring to the table um, but let's see what he can get going. So we do not start off with the ball, which is fine. So that we can chest out his perimeter D right now, which is uh, actually not bad. He, oh, he's playing, he's playing, putting clamps on Kyle Lowry. Nice. And even Dennis Smith Jr. gets the rebound. Nice. Let's see if he has curry slide. He does have the curry slide, which is nice. Perfect. 
you can cheese up with him. Um, he does have good crossover behind the legs. That's test ability attack the rack. And that's what you can expect. First basket of the game is a dunk for Dennis Smith Jr. He only has an A rating for a, uh, a steal, but I'm sure you'll be able to get some steals. Unfortunately, he could not really do much in the in the in the interior against Kyle Lowry there. Pop a three. Oh, that was a bad shot. That was a bad shot on my part. Oh, I don't know what that possession was, but. <laughs> All right, Dennis Smith Jr. playing defense here. Oh, come on. He was just able to get enough of a contest there. Let's pop a three. Not a green, but it's a bucket. <clears throat> Let's try to get this steal here. Put him on clamps, man. It's actually going to be a really good budget demon. Um, wouldn't say he would be better than Tyrese Halliburton by any means, but um, he's definitely a really good point guard. Uh... For being as short as he is. Sorry if you guys can hear some banging in the background. My little brother's probably doing something upstairs. <laughs> Dirk grabbing the rebound. Snatch back. Pop another three. And that's another bucket. So, I believe... I don't think Dennis did Dennis Dennis Smith Jr. have Green Machine on any sort of badge. I don't remember, uh, but we're actually gonna go ahead and check that right now because I really want to know if he has a Green Machine because I have not greened a single shot with him yet. <clears throat> so he does have Hot Zone Hunter and Green Machine, so I should be able to green some shots. But I guess I'm just not making it happen for whatever reasons. Don't know why. Trey Burke hit hitting the mid-range. So, I guess Dennis Smith Jr. gets slashing takeover, so we're going to have to abuse that right now. Taking it to the rack with Dennis Smith Jr. Um, in this gameplay, I don't think we're going to really even attempt any post work in the with this card. Um, due to the fact that he just literally has no ability to shoot the, mid, uh, shoot the post fade at all. So... Really what this card is going to be able to do is slash for you, dunk, and take three-pointers. So, um, we're going to call a quick ISO, curry slide, and then we'll go to the rack. Oh, he's is he, Oh, he's not able to finish over Kyle Lowry. We got a full bar there, which I was actually quite confident that we were going to hit that, but I guess not. Luka Doncic with the rebound, though. We're going to pop the three with Dennis Smith. He gets the green animation, but it's not a green. Dennis Smith with, with a good poke there, but he's not able to grab the steal, though. Alright, Luka Doncic with the rebound. Um, I'm going to pass it to Dirk for the assist. And there we go. First assist on the game for Dennis Smith Jr. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll like how I shoot that. Dennis Smith not able to get the board though, but that's fine. Um, let's see here. Let's call a pick and fade, I guess, with, with Dirk. And let's see if we can hit that. No, not able to hit that. That's okay. Kyle Lowry popping the three. Luka gets the rebound. Dennis Smith, pump faking. Passing the back out. Passing it back to Luca, and that's another assist for the man Dennis Smith Jr. Nice. Dirk Nowitzki again with the uh, with a rebound. Dennis Smith with a slightly late shot, but it still goes in. But for whatever reason, guys, I am not able to green with this card. <clears throat> for whatever reason. I cannot figure out the timing. It's a quick jump shot. It's a quick jump shot, but for whatever reason, the timing on it is just kind of awkward. I gotta say. Like, I literally, all the three-pointers I've hit so far in this game <clears throat> have been whites. 
So for what reason that is, I don't know. Maybe that's just my bad, but good contest by Dennis Smith. But that's really not what I'm looking for here. Nice little fadeaway mid-range for the man uh, DSJ. Another steal for DSJ. I'm going to go for another fadeaway mid-range. And that's the green. There we go. Hot zone hunter coming into play on gold. All right. Good contest. Oh, he got a block. He got a block. Oh, Trey Burke having a foul on there. Ever <laughs> stopping uh, Dennis Smith Jr. from com well, probably completely posterizing him. Dennis Smith. Oh, no. He poked it. Pump fake. And let's get a showtime. Oh, that's, that's tough there, man. That's tough. I was hoping to get an absolute showtime jam on him. Dennis Smith is actually clamping, bro. Almost got the block on Pat Bev. But I guess one more thing we can test out here is Dennis Smith's layup ability, I guess. Um, it's still going to be spectacular. He's going to be able to pretty much hit majority of the layups that he takes. As long as they're, you know, fairly open. Oh, wow. Dennis Smith Jr. on the clamp with another steal. Oh, my lord. With the f oh, green floater! 34% contested. My lord. <clears throat> Dirk able to get a good stop there. Um, let's see here. Dennis Smith with a step back mid-range. My lord, that, that was a great animation. I like that. Good contest by DSJ. Great. Oh man, I like this card, man. Oh, that's a tough shot. That was a tough shot. Oh, they cooked us there. They cooked us on that possession. Let's try to get one more layup uh, abusing this stuff. Oh, slash and take was already gone. <laughs> there we go, another layup for DSJ. 39 points on the game. Two assists, two rebounds. He's definitely going to be stuffing the stat sheet this time around. Definitely. Pat Bev with the three while cold, and he's going to hit it. All right. Uh, yeah, no, this is not going to happen. You'll take the assist. You'll take the assist. Terrible release by us, but still went in. <clears throat> All right, it's coming up on the last four points of the game. Let's see what we can make happen. DSJ with a fadeaway green light three. Just absolutely beautiful. This card has great animations, guys. At least, uh, at least I find like really good animations. Got a good, good, good uh, post fade, not fadeaway. Uh, not, not even post fade. Um, just good off dribble shot, I guess. <laughs> let's uh let's see if we can get a really deep three for dsj on the on the last bucket here we'll try from the hash oh not quite able to hit it we'll feed him feed him again step back a little bit well that's contested luca again with the board let's try from half court and that's a green baby that is a green so let's go ahead and check on the box score um he's got the man, Dennis Smith Jr., has got 45 points, two rebounds, three assists, four steals, and one block. So he can really play good defense. Uh, way better defense than I initially thought. Maybe the block that we got was maybe a little bit lucky, but you know what? I cannot complain with that, with that stat line at all. That's about as good as you can get for an offline game. So um, he shot 18 for 23 from the field, and from beyond the arc, he shot 9 for 12. That's really good. And he's also got himself two dunks, which is nice. So, we'll get into the main menu, guys, and let's give our official thoughts on the card. Let's get it. Alrighty, guys, so that was the gameplay on Amethyst, Dennis Smith Jr., guys. Um, yeah, so that was a really fun card to use, man. Like, honestly, 
Out of all the gameplays I've done recently, that was definitely one of the most fun uh, gameplays I've done, uh, to be quite honest. Um, the card was just a really fun card to use. He's going to be a really good budget beast. Um, if you guys do want, want an online perspective of this specific card, um, I would highly suggest, like, I would highly suggest you guys go check out my buddy Lethal, Lethal uh, Pasquale on, um, on YouTube. Um, he's done a gameplay on this card, so be sure to check it out. Um, I definitely highly suggest it. So if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to drop a big thumbs up, guys. Um, I mean, like, I really enjoy doing these videos. I really, really do. Um, the channel's been doing, like, pretty freaking good recently, man. Like, we're getting consistency, and that is what matters, so... Um, if you guys want to show your support uh, for the channel and all that, all that, let's make it to 50 subscribers. That's our goal for uh, you know the time being until we hit that. We're currently actually at 45 subscribers, so we're almost already there. So um, if we can make it to 50 subscribers, that'd be absolutely fantastic. So uh, make sure to share the video around, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the very next video. Adios. Take care.